Guys, I'm going to tell you, listen, story time. Have you ever had a girl ever tell you that she liked you and you ever told her to get lost? That's my story time. Oh. Merry Christmas. So guys, listen, I just wanted to ask you guys, look, how many times has somebody come up to you and told you that they like you or they love you or they miss you or they need you, they wanted you to be part of their life in a more romantic way? And how many times have you given that person a bullet reply? Or given that person a dead reply? Or finished them with the reply? Like, you don't ever think you can get in my league. That's what my story time is all about today. So, listen. JP2, like I said, Southwest London. <laughs> so, what was in school? I don't know if it was year 7 or year 8. I'm not really, really sure. But I remember. I was in school, okay? You have to understand. Man weren't that too pretty, you get me? Man was still up in the, in the, in the cocoon, you get me? I was still developing. Still a metapod trying to get into my glow zone. But I wasn't there yet, you got what I'm saying? Man's a little fat kid, like I said, man. And bigger breasts than most gal. But cool. Anyway. So... Like I said, all the girls in there from a lot of the girls in the school that were strong. Listen, oh, I don't want to mention names, but some of them were just so beautiful. Oh wow, some of them were just so lovely, so sweet, so succulent, so tasty. Tintun, obviously, I'm not stressed. I'm comfortable. How many of you weren't ugly duckings at school? Oh, yeah. So there's quite a few of us who are ugly duckings. You get me? Because we're going to become paintings when we grow up. You get me? So. I understood that no many girls gonna like me and um, you know it's gonna be tough you know um, just being in the friend zone all the time but you gotta do what you gotta do if I remember sometimes because I was so deep in some friend zones I just I remember one time hey this girl I'm not mentioning names let's just call her just Annabelle like I remember she was so vexed because look well, I think I remember was um, the girls just that all have just do it bags in it and I remember because I'm an observer I observe things so I wanted to see just I was experimenting simultaneously trying to get in there so anyway cool so Annabelle let's say Annabelle pretty girl listen Annabelle was paying blood from Ghana ah, Annabelle sweet oh damn baby hey chocolate banana oh whoa 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 let's get that back you know what I mean <laughs> anyway painting like Annabelle painting like Annabelle anyway so <laughs> painting like Annabelle meet me after the okay that's not going down cool so obviously Annabelle and the most of the girls would have a just do it bag in it I remember hers was grey and red it was a painting bag no I think my hers might have been all grey and I've noticed the guys that are getting the girls they're wearing the girls bag so they'll take the girls bag and then carry it around or put it on their back to get me Remember, I'm a fat kid. So when I'm looking at it, it's like, rah, all these guys are doing that. So maybe if I also do that as well, I'll be able to gauge her response. If she fires me, I've got no chance in hell of making it with this girl. But if she doesn't, then maybe, maybe I'm in there and I don't even realise I'm in there. You get me? So cool. We're on the back playground now, kicking ball. And the girls must have left their bags. I don't know why, they always leave their bags. They must have left their bags at our goalposts, right? And they were sitting on the other, they were sitting on the on the on the fence. So obviously, Annabelle's there. She left her bag on the goalpost. So at the end of the game, obviously, man's grabbed her bag and obviously put on, I put it on my back and everything. And I'm walking around with it like that's how we do in our year. We're just comfortable like that. And she's raging, blood. She's like, Coach, what are you doing? Why have you got my bag? Why have you got my bag on your back? You know, listen, take that bag off now. And you're big as well, and you're stretching the bag. Love. Sorry, I just had to be revived. <sighs> we live in that moment, just <sighs> sometimes I get in the sunken place. Sometimes, a bag like you're big as well, and you're stretching the bag like you're stretching the arm because you don't just do bag, you have to adjust it. You're stretching everything as well, and you're sweaty as well. That was my mistake. And you're sweaty as well from football. What are you doing, Kojo? Like, what are you doing? You've lost the plot. Like, don't ever do that again. Jesus is love. Sunken place. I think I'm firmly rooted in the, um, in the friend zone. <laughs> I think I'm, and me and her, we, me and Annabelle, we used to have beefs, you know. I don't, I don't want the boy, I didn't want to, you know, set the mark because he's still pretty and I'm trying to get in there, you know what I mean? So man's heart went really, really, really bad, them things, you know what I mean? 
<laughs> but anyway, the real story I'm talking about is the fact that I was deeply rooted in the friend zone. But anyway, my real story. Let's get to the story time. It's a white girl, blonde hair, okay, um, kind of big, bigger than me. Okay, so I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I was talking about. I don't know how I was. I was trying to go on like I'm special. I went. So two twos now, yeah. Um, like I said, obviously the um one girl comes to me. Let's call her. Let's call her, let's call her, let's call her Lady Leisha, let's call her Leisha, Leisha, let's call, just call her Leisha, innit? Leisha comes up to me, and Leisha just loves talking, so Leisha comes to me and goes, Oh, coach, I there's a rumour going around that, you know what, you're feeling, um, um, you're feeling, um, my girl. <laughs> the white girl in question is called Samantha, okay, anybody else, it's A, B, C, D. Okay, cool. So Leisha comes up to me saying, oh, coach, 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 coach. I'm hearing that obviously you not. Know, look, <laughs> Samantha likes you. Hadouken! I'm like, Samantha, which one's Samantha? She's like, oh, you know, you know, you know. I'm like, no, I don't. First time when I heard it, I was excited a little bit. Yeah, because fam, look, it's my first time that someone likes me. <laughs> I'm about to get a rip. I'm about to dive in. I'm about to dive in. <laughs> tun tun. Ba ba. Screw up. Anyway, cool. So she's tapping me, telling me about this thing, and I'm like, okay, I don't know who this Samantha girl is. Cool. I remember this. We're going into art, and she told me this before we went to art. So when we go into art, when we're in a queue, everyone's talking about the fact that Samantha likes me. Because you have to understand, in our school, when someone likes somebody, it's going around the whole class. It's going around the whole year. Everybody's going to know who likes who, black. You get me? So that rumor was going around that hey, this girl likes you. Now she was. Everyone was talking about it in art, and I couldn't concentrate. I was getting vexed. I'm like, I'm trying to do my work. People are tapping me going, coach, like, yo, are you going to move to Samantha? Da, da, da. And I'm like, bro, I don't even know who this Samantha girl is. So wait till I see this Samantha girl, then I can tell you if I'm going to move to it or not. You get me? Because if she's a painting, I'm going to move to it, fam. Of course, I knew that like, she can move to me, blend. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but it's 2004. Like, she can move to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to do some things, baby. <laughs> I'm about to go alone. <laughs> We're not going to the back play, girl. You know us boys, we're gonna kick ball. We're ready. Like we're amped. We've been chatting doo doo to each other all day about game. We've been chatting doo doo about how who are gonna get banged, you're not gonna score goals, we're gonna score goals today, blah 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 blah. And we're getting the team sorted. So the game's now on the way. Game's heated, fam. Like it's blowing. Alright, well we're, we're really going at this game today. Like both both teams are looking to win this team. You get what I'm saying? Halfway through the game, remember I told you certain girls sit on the wall behind the goalposts. They're pretty girls. Cool. So now, obviously, Samantha's coming with her friend. Let's just call her her friend, Samantha's friend. And they come to the edge of the of the back playground. So they come with the fences, okay. Um, and they're not really near our game, but they're like, they're trying to holler at me. Then Leisha comes again and grabs me off the pitch and says, "Kojo, hey, Samantha, trying to try, Samantha wants to talk to you." Da, da, da. Now, for the first time, I've now seen Samantha. I look at her and I go. Not my type like i'm more of a black girl kind of lover um and i mean really and truly um i like a certain um um body shape so i, mm -mm, I don't know where i was going i was big myself i don't know where i was going thinking i'm gonna get me a peng marketing you get me Painting that's on the size, little sign. Like that. I don't know where I was going. I should have taken what I got, mate. You know what I mean? But anyway, so I'm looking over and I'm like, yeah, Alicia, I'm not really feeling that. Tell her to just go back to her thing, man. Like, tell her, look, just tell her, look, I'm not interested in it. Like, I'm just focusing on my studies. Tell, just tell her that, innit? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Alicia's like, listen, you can tell her yourself. I am not involved. Alicia. Lisha, you're not involved. You've just been coming in sneak telling man what's going on. Cool. Lisha bops off. Obviously, she's now sitting with the girls. Now, the girls are now watching me to see what I'm going to do. I'm like, boys, I'm just going to cut real quick. So, I cut off real quick. I've run to the edge of the playground at the back. Samantha's obviously there talking with her friend. Like, Samantha's like, all right, look. She's like, and Samantha's like, listen, um, I'm like, look, Samantha, just say what you got to say, man. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, just say what you got to say in it. It's calm. So Samantha's like nervous and she's like, you know, just like doing this with her hair. You know white girls got long hair, so you know, Bruno. She's blonde as well. Blonde is my kind of thing, but you know, like I grown I mean <laughs> You know, back in the day, blonde girl, white girl, blonde girl, that's my thing, you know what I'm saying? I had a big crush on one girl who was blonde, blue eyes in in, in five primary school. But she never saw me like that. She just saw me as a friend.
yeah, two twos now, yeah. Samantha's obviously come to me going, oh, wait, li- like, someone's like, listen, um, like, coach. And I'm like, coach. Like, all my brothers and sisters call me that, like, you're getting too familiar out here. I need you to buckle up your ideas, okay? <laughs> Like, I just want to let you know, I kind of, I, like, I really like you. Like, I love, I want to, I'd want to go out of you. Now, listen, I want you to understand something deep this, blood. She said it so politely, so nicely. She made a, 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 a good, you know, I'm, I'm, she made a nice play for man. You get me saying? It was polite, you know what I'm saying? And I, I said to her, listen, Samantha. Look, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not really feeling you in that way, but I I probably didn't say it, I appreciate the gesture because my language vocabulary probably weren't that lit then. But I said to her, listen, look, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm not really feeling it like that. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm focusing on my books. She was like, oh, look, coach, and look, like, I, no, for real, like, just give it a little chance. Let's just like, at least just talk in it. And, da, da, da. and I just went to her. I just, Shut up! You know what? You know what? I will regret this for the rest of my life if I don't get to apologise. I, I, I apologise to her. I remember I apologised to Chippy uh, um, when I saw it later on, but I just never really apologised to her properly, and I feel like I need to apologise to her again. So she obviously she said no. She said, "Look, I just want to try again." And the second time she said it, I was like, "You're not here." I'm, in my head, I was like, "You're not hearing what I'm saying." So I, to, I said, "You're not gonna hear what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it proper." I said, "Listen, Samantha," and I said it very loud, so loud, the whole place kind of stopped to see what I was doing. I said, listen, Samantha, I'm not feeling you like that, okay? I understand what you're saying, but I'm not feeling like you like that. Just leave me alone. I'm going to play football. Listen, I said it so loud and passionately, yeah? With, with so much vim. The girl went away crying, I'm sure. She went away crying. I went back to the boys and kicked ball. Then Alicia came up to me again. Because what happened? Like, did you, did you, oh, you're too going out. You're not going out. You're not going out. I said, listen, Alicia, we're not going out. Did that talk. Stop that. The rooms are going around. I don't want to hear the rooms anymore. We're not going anywhere. You get me? I'm here to play ball, and that's what I'm doing right now. You know what I'm saying? I told her the and I said, listen, Samantha, I'm sorry, innit? Like, I actually feel bad for saying what I said. Um, it wasn't cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I said, I, I appreciate that you liked me. Um, but, I wasn't really interested in that way, do you know what I'm saying? I said it, she was like, cool, yeah, all right, cool, no worries, boom. And she kept on walking, and kept on moving. But in my heart, I felt like you're burning and I feel bad. Like, I, there's a way to do things. You don't tell a girl, listen, leave me alone on the whole back playground. So the whole back, play, back playground heard, heard, what, heard what I said. You know? oh, the whole black playground turned and saw what I was saying to her and she was properly embarrassed. So I never again wanted to put a girl in that position. Even if they like me, I don't like them. There's a way to do certain things. So I was so annoyed that I said it like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Because who knows? She can, go, uh, she can go commit suicide. You don't know. Like, do you know what I'm saying? That's what I was thinking. I was thinking to myself, the way I said it, she can go commit suicide or something like that. You need to share. You need to like. You need to subscribe. Okay? You need to just show your boy love. Okay? And share it with somebody. Have you experienced a situation where you like somebody and they gunned you? Or have you been in a situation where it's reversed? You gunned somebody else because they liked you. Like, listen, let man know. JP2, them chronicles is going to continue. The B-boy, them starry. You get me? I appreciate you. Mmm. Scoot up, pa 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 Sweetness. Merry Christmas.